Hey, I'm Nate and today we're checking out the Sonom XP7. Now this phone is available in Canada for about $750 Canadian dollars unlocked and can be yours for about $100 with a two year contract depending on your carrier. We should be hearing more about a US release later this year. Now the phone is unapologetically bulky. It weighs half a pound and it's about 20 millimeters thick, 8 tenths of an inch. It technically fits in my pocket, but certainly not comfortable. Now there's just one exposed port, that headphone jack up on the top. Everything else is sealed up tight to keep out dust and water and the phone can survive in up to 2 meters of water for 30 minutes. That's about 6.5 feet. It's also ready to survive drops of about 2 meters onto hard surfaces like concrete, though you probably guessed that from the rubber shell. Of course that also means that the 4800 milliamp hour battery is locked up tight, but it gets about 40 hours of talk time. I was generally fine when I was away from an outlet for a day or two or three. The phone has a 1.2 GHz quad-core processor and it tackled all the apps and games I threw at it with ease. There's also 16 gigs of internal storage and the phone runs Android 4.4 KitKat. Call quality was great, though I tested it on AT&T's LTE network here in San Francisco. Your experience will vary in Canada. The noise cancelling microphone helps people hear what I'm saying pretty clearly and if you're surrounded by loud machinery, don't worry. The speakerphone up top here gets really loud. The display is a bit of a sore point. It's got a lowly 800 by 480 pixel resolution and runs into problems with color shifting. Colors start to look washed out when you look at the phone off axis. But even though the colors can look a bit off, you'll always be able to see the screen pretty clearly, even in direct sunlight. The phone also supports things like push to talk and that red button on the side can call up a 24-7 emergency support hotline aimed to help workers who might be alone and in need of assistance somewhere. Now, the Sonom XP7 isn't a phone for everyone. In fact, it's not really a phone for most people. There are things it could do better. I'd like to see a high resolution screen and the camera could be better. Both of those would make for a really great experience if you say want to share something with your fellow campers or if you're working off site and you want to share something with the folks back in civilization. That being said, if your work keeps you out in the wild or you just spend a lot of time camping and you want a device that can survive, the Sonoma XP7 is going to get the job done. I'm Nate Ralph. Thanks for watching.